Hello, this is Steve again over at HVACPartShop.com. Today we're going to go over uh, the 48K98 control board. We're just going to take a brief look at it. Um, of course, it comes with the installation instructions here. Um, it does come with a static proof bag, so before you handle it, you want to make sure that you ground yourself to where you don't have any static electricity on you, which I've already done. So let's go ahead and get it out of the bag. And I kind of want to kind of go over this board with you just a little bit. Let me get it propped up here where we can kind of look at it and talk about it. And then I'll kind of go over it with you. That'll hold there for me. Let me see if I can get it to stay up. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that, and I'll kind of talk to you about it. Okay, so this control right here, um, it's divided, this is a blower control board. This, this one right here happens to be the BBC3, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the BCC3. Um, now this control is divided up into two sections. Up on the top section, this is all our 120 volt, okay? This is all of our line voltage up here. The bottom side of this board down here is all of our 24 volt or our control voltage. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our line voltage, which we'll start with right here. We have uh, these five connectors up here are all going to be our neutral wires. Okay, um, so those are all of our neutrals. Uh, next, right here, it says CAB, uh, that stands for combustion air blower. Um, now, a lot of times these Blower controls are on a G23 or a G20. Now the G20 doesn't have a, uh, a combustion air blower. What it has is a damper. So this is where we'll hook up our damper motor. So our damper motor will hook up here. The hot light, the hot side of the damper motor will, uh, will hook up here. And of course the other side will go to one of our neutrals. Um, if you do have the G23, then your combustion blower, your hot lead of your combustion blower will, will hook up to the CAB and then of course your neutral will come, come over here. The next term over is L1, so that's our line voltage. Line voltage is usually coming from our door switch. Okay, so the black lead from our door switch will, will, will connect to the L1. Okay, next term over we have an A. A uh, on this board basically stands for uh, air conditioning um, or air speed for our air conditioner. So this is our blower terminal, high speed blower terminal for uh, that's what you want on air conditioners, high speed. So, um, so that's where we'll put our uh, black lead from our blower motor. We'll go to A. Okay. Next one over is going to be XFMR, and that's going to be for our transformer. Okay, the primary side of our transformer. So our black lead from our transformer will go to XFMR. Of course, your neutral from the transformer will come over here and hook to your neutral. And then you'll see right here next to that we have some dummy terminals, or D. That stands for dummy terminals. What those are used for is uh, unused blower leads. So if, you're, if you've got a speed, uh, several speeds on your blower motor, like a five-speed blower motor, and you need an extra spot to put... Uh, those leads that you're not using, you can put them to the D terminals. Behind this, they they don't go nothing. They're not they're not uh, they don't go anywhere. They're not hooked to any kind of circuitry or anything. They're just there to uh, house those unused blower leads. Next to that, we have a CF. That's for continuous span. Normally, we don't need to worry about the continue, putting anything on the CF. Um, next to that, we have another D terminal. So again, that's for unused blower leads. Next, next to that we have uh, an H. That's going to be our heat speed. Usually with heat uh, you want it to be on low speed so that's probably going to be a red wire going to our H. Um, that'll put us in a low speed uh, for our heat mode. Okay. Um, then next to that we have our ACC. That's for our auxiliary. Um, if we was going to, so that's always that's always hot, 120, coming out of this terminal right here. Um, what we'd use this for is like if we had a humidifier and we had a, 
transformer for the humidifier. Of course, we'd hook that transformer up, the hot side of the transformer up to ACC. Of course, the other side of the, the neutral side of the transformer, we'd hook up over here to our neutrals. That pretty much takes care of the top side of this control um, on, our, on our line voltage. Now we'll go down uh, to the bottom side of the board and we'll kind of go over this right here. Um, this is for our valve sense right here. This is going to, um, this is for our valve sense. Of course we got our limit here. Uh, these are both for our limits right here. Uh, we got a W1. It's going to be the same on your other board. Most of your BBC boards are pretty much all alike. Um, of course this right here is where our thermostat connections go. Um, w, uh, that's going to be for our heat, demand. R is our 24 volt going in. Y is for our cooling. We got C, that's our common. And G, which operates, is for our fan. Okay, right over here to, on the bottom is our 24 volt. Um, that's coming from the transformer, usually secondary side of the transformer, usually a blue wire. And of course we get our C and our C. Um, that's going to be our common, okay, for, for coming from the transformer. Um, like I say, this board's pretty easy, pretty simple. There's not much to it. Um, the board you're replacing is probably going to be the BCC1 or the BCC2. It's going to look pretty much identical to, to this control right here. Um, there's just a little, this a few little differences on it, uh, nothing major. Um, so what I would do when you're going to change out one of those, change out this control, is just to remove the old control, leave all the wires hooked up to it, and then go ahead and mount this, and then let's take uh, wire for wire and put it back where it, where it came from, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps this control up. Uh, I do have more videos to come, so until then, I'll see you the next time.